All right, so good. I started the video a while ago, get interrupted, so I have to redo the video. My apologies on that. All right, so let's touch on this video. No, let's make it clear. One, this is not an attack at Veer, Phoenix, United. This is just some information that I receive on my decks today, and I find it quite interesting. I made a few phone calls to find out that it is actually quite so. And the, the main information I'm going to give you guys today is actually factual. Now, first we have to set the base understanding of where the information, um, why the information is circling now and the situation surrounding it. One, I make it clear. We have to understand that in, in football, in Jamaican football, you have something called FIFA Connect. FIFA Connect is where all players are registered to from what particular clubs, whatever club they are. But you have players who are a part of a club, but they're not registered on the FIFA Connect. But that does not say legally that they're not on a part of the club. It's just that the club sometimes neglectfully registers the players on FIFA Connect. So for example, if I have a club named MG Sports FC, I can have 30 players, and out of the 30 players, 15 are registered on FIFA Connect registered to MG Sports FC. The next 15, they are part of the clubs, officially are players registered to us, but not on FIFA Connect. So FIFA Connect is just the official way of saying these players are from MG Sports FC. Let's make that clear. Now, the situation surrounding Veer Phoenix is this. There are two players at Veer Phoenix at this present moment who are, one, technically not Veer Phoenix players. Two will cause problems for Veer Phoenix where that is concerned. And the mere fact that these two players played for Veer Phoenix put Veer Phoenix in a position of losing those points that they gained. The Mullines game ended 3-1. The Umbeline game ended 1-1. Who are these two players and how is that these two players are actually not technically Veer Phoenix players? Let's make it clear. Now, Mountain View FC, the club in the Kasafa jurisdiction, they had two players, Mario and Thomas and Kishin Garden. Those are the two players. And technically, those players were also a part of Phoenix Academy. With those players being a part of Phoenix Academy, the club, the club knew that these players are part of the Phoenix Academy, but the players themselves are from the club Mountain View FC. They are from the club Mountain View FC. What happened here is this. These players were registered on the FIFA Connect that I just told you about, on the FIFA Connect to Phoenix FC. Now, the problem with that is those players did not transfer from Mountain View FC to Phoenix FC legally. What do I mean by legally? Now, on the FIFA Connect, you will see that the players belong to Phoenix FC. But on the Mountain View FC books, the players belong to Mountain, FC, or Mountain View FC. These players were a part of Mountain View FC. They played in, um, I think, they played in the Major League in 2023 or 2022, they're about, for Mountain View FC. But they were a part of Phoenix Academy. And, and the club management, everyone knew that they are part of the Phoenix Academy, but there are players that belong to Mountain View FC. Now, the discrepancies lie where... The player is now registered on FIFA Connect to Phoenix Academy, but not on Mountain View FC. The problem is, how did these players become a part of Phoenix FC or be able to register on Phoenix FC, on Phoenix um, Academy, when they did not get got the green light from Mountain View FC that the players transferred to Phoenix Academy? So that is the problem is. So the case of which, good. Players are part of it. Um, this, this is catch. Um, just forget about it. 
the, sin, the situation is for these players to become a part of Phoenix FC, they would have to transfer from Mountain View FC to Phoenix Academy. That did not happen. Now, let me make, make, make this clear. The players now at this present moment are partaking in the Premier League for their Phoenix United. But legally, they are registered to Mountain View FC. And that is where the problems occur. So at its turn, Veer Phoenix United are in a bit of problems where that is concerned. One of the players, um, I know you guys saw it in preseason, was supposed to transfer to Cavalier <laughs> FC. He was supposed to tra um, transfer to Cavalier FC. There was a big issue surrounding that particular player, and that is Kishi and Garden. And what's happening here is when Cavalier FC went to the club, Mountain View FC, for the transfer, pay the doc pay whatever they need to pay, rate it to sort out the documentation. It happened so that it happened so that that is when the club found out that the player is registered on the FIFA Connect. To Phoenix Academy, which is now Veer Phoenix. And that is where the problem lies. It's a huge problem. Big, big problem, people, for Veer Phoenix. Now, another aspect is, uh, of it is the next player that is concerned is Romarian Thomas. He was the one involved also in the, um, the, 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 Molines game discrepancies again. Molines got the points, discrepancies again. Now, our next player that was hugely affected in this same situation is Akeem Bernard, aka Pussy. He wanted to play for Molines United, but was not able to get the transfer done because his transfer was actually at VRSL and he did not know about it. That's what the player stated, that he did not know about it. And because of that, he's unable to play in the, in the Jamaica Premier League because they weren't able to ascertain the ITC in time. That's an um, international, um, international, some, some clearance form, one clearance form, one clearance form. I have it in my head, but me, 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 me can. Some international clearance form. Yeah. <clears throat> And this is what happened, what's happening right at this present moment. This is what's causing the problem. And at this present moment, because of this situation, their Phoenix is potentially going to lose those four points that they gain at the start of the season. Now, minimize the boy, I don't need to highlight this, but things like this must be highlighted. At the end of the day, just imagine, just imagine if this went on for 30 games in the season. And then this tour come out. Even by someone else, this tour come out. You know what's going to happen to Vier Phoenix? They're going to be relegated. So if they make this slide continue, just continue, slide, 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 until it come official, they end up getting relegated. Because one, there was no official transfer done between, between for the players to move from Mountain View FC and that. And at this present moment, the Mountain View FC administrators are really upset with the situation because the players were transferred to Phoenix Unite, um, Phoenix Academy without their knowledge. And they're very, very upset about it. In the event, I want to listen to this, in the event that these players should transfer, get a big contract overseas, big money come in, there'll be nothing in store for uh, Mountain View SC because it was not recognized that they, um, they played a role in the players' development. So they would just get, get cut right out of it. And that's one of the main reasons why the Mountain View FC um, technical staff or should I say officials are very, very upset about the situation because they just knew about it solely because um, of the transfer that was supposed to happen with Kishi and Garden. When they went on there, went on the, the FIFA Connect, they found out that there are, there are players 
who are now playing in the Premier League and then get transferred without their knowledge or even them signing any level or form of documentation. And that is what's causing the problem at this present moment. So that is the hot water that VR Phoenix is in at this present moment. Anyways, big up on yourself, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Tell us what you think in the comment section about this one. Interesting one. Big up on yourself, people. Enjoy your Sunday. MG Sports TV are out. God bless. A story I begin you know. I mean, I tell her. We out. Outside.